This is the Going Analog Quiz Show. I'm Christina, your new quiz master. I mean, we're taking turns. Shu and I are taking turns, but we, we ironed out some wrinkles and, you know, we'll see who's better here. <laughs> but, um, joining me today, we have Lizzie Funkhauser from Board Game Spotlight, which is an awesome Facebook group for board game enthusiasts like us all. So uh, why don't you tell us what you're doing, Lizzie, in 10 words or fewer? Uh, I help you find your favorite game. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Very succinct. And uh, you know, one I was gonna give you a little crap for you know moving out of LA and then uh, you know trading L like SoCal weather for Chicago weather, but I think you missed a bunch of um, wildfires and really yeah. bad air quality. So I think you win. And an earthquake. <laughs> I heard you had an earthquake last night, so I got out like just the perfect time. Yeah, yeah, we were like, oh, wait, wait, what, we lost all of our emergency training while we were doing that. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. It's okay. Derek okay. somehow missed all your quicks when we were out there. I had like four or five and he was gone every single time. So I was like, <laughs> I'm not doing this alone anymore. I'm leaving. I guess we need to bring him back just so we can avoid earthquakes. I think that's what's we're, what we're learning here. <laughs> uh -huh. I wish you would come back too. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my husband is deployed. I didn't like yeah. off him or something. <laughs> and wish to like resuscitate him. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's good. He's fine. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, this first round, we're going to do multiple choice. We're going to get five multiple choice questions and uh, you get one point for each one you get right. So uh, we have a different theme each time. So this particular week, we have a haiku for you. So each uh, ex description is a haiku written about a particular board game. So let's see if you can figure it out. Cool. Okay. Burger or pizza? My billboard will convince you. Capitalism. Is this game? This oh yeah, and you food. can find out. Is oh, that's food chain magnet. It is there. So that I is your guess. Need this. Yeah. <laughs> it's such I a good haiku, it. right? Yeah, it okay. is. It was excellent. <laughs> and the answer is food chain magnate. Nice job. <laughs> One point. Okay. So the next question: Brew magic potions. Deliver them through the realm. Brave or cowardly? Is this game? A alchemist. B quacks of Quedlinburg. C, potion explosion, or D, broom service? Broom service. You know your games. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Excellent. God. Yeah. That's a fun game. It's so good. Okay, let's see. The question three. Cherry blossom blooms. One beats eight jacarandas. Good luck scoring trees. Is this game a Arboretum. Tiger? Okay. <laughs> I can't I love you. that game. I know. It's so good. And it's so like harsh, right? <laughs> I know. For such like a small game, for such a beautiful game, the first time I played that, Derek like destroyed me and I was so mad. It's excellent <laughs> though. If you haven't played it, find a copy. I know. Just like watch out for the super exclusive special edition. It like blinds you. It's so like it's so glossy. Pretty, <laughs> it's like a weapon and a game though. So you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Multi-purpose. Absolutely. Okay, uh, so you were right, this Arboretum. And then uh, question four. Precariously balanced, quickly constructed, recycled beauty. Is this game A, junk art, B, pinnacle, C, Jenga, or D, tukey? I'm gonna go with junk art. Nice. Uh, good clue here with the recycled beauty. So I pat myself on the back. So <laughs> Yeah, I, so I have not played junk art. So that, I mean, being able to get it from that clue, I'm pretty impressed with myself, not gonna <laughs> lie. You know all the games, whether you play them or not, so it's good. It's how I can help you pick your favorite game. I know them it's all. It's true, it's true. She knows everything. Okay, so question five. Prince of Lar Valley. Roll dice, get pigs, build cities. Hexes are so beige. Hmm. Is this game? A, Agricola, B, Catan, C, the Castles of Burgundy, or D, Clans of Caledonia? I'm gonna go with Clans of Caledonia. Good guess. Unfortunately, no. C oh. was the Castles of Burgundy. Uh, I did not know that except for, you know, Le Boire Valley. I had to look that mm -hmm. up. So there you go. That's what like, I was like, I'm not sure where that is. So, I mean, I played both Castles and Clans, so I was like 50-50. Nice. Yes. Yeah, still good. We got four out of five points, so we're looking Am I really beating good. James? Oh, we'll find out at the end, you know. <laughs> You're doing well. You're doing well. Okay. So in this next round, I've prepared for you a picture round. Okay. So mm -hmm. all of these are picture puzzles, and you're going to tell me what game this picture represents. There you go. Okay. Name the game. Start you off. Parks. Nice. 
Well, there's a picture in there, so. Oh, bear in park. Yes, of course. It's a bear in a park, so, you know, start you off nice and easy, get used to of how course. this works. And uh, then we've got for question two, a little different. What is this? Nemesis. Hmm. So I made sort of like a picture puzzle where sort of like you have a bit of a rebus situation, right? So like I have a little plus there. What uh -huh. do you think? So it's like a little bit more complicated than Nemesis. And as a clue, there's two words in this title. Alien. Hmm? Front ear? Front yes. ear? Yes, you got it! Very nice. <laughs> I was like, huh. Ah. Okay. Little, like, weird puzzles, so. That was pretty that. weird. It was pretty weird. Okay. But there you go. Very nice. And question two, three, sorry, this one's along the same line, sort of follow the flow of the puzzle. It's some kind of paper and it looks like the person, it's got a 65%, that's a fail. Mm -hmm. Plus, having trouble seeing that, that's, O. is it like a water bender in an O? Sort of. I honestly, yeah, no. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Random guess. I don't oh. know. No. All right. No worries. That was uh, you're scoring a D with a sixty-five percent. Um, there's a tiny little crypt keeper in there, and so mm -hmm. we've got the crypto for that. Oh, see, my school was a seven point scale, not a 10 point scale. Okay. <laughs> so that was a fail for me. I that should have done my school. research, so. <laughs> I know, I went to really tough schools. They didn't give us any leeway. <laughs> D's, no, yeah. Now you know, D's are, you know, 60-ish percent. Okay, we've got question four here. What's this one? Okay. Up, uh, that I believe is the Greek flag and coke mm. it's a single word game agricola nice that one's hard <laughs> nice job i wanted to go with like santorini because i mean obviously greek and i'm like oh, no, yeah. it's so bad okay making weird little you know picture puzzles for you final one nice job okay this one um you know you either know it or you don't give it a try <laughs> I don't remember what that's called. That's Brass Knuckles. Oh, yeah. Brass Birmingham. Yes, perfect. <laughs> so I was like, either you're gonna guess Lancashire or, or Birmingham, but nice job. <laughs> so you've got eight total points, looking really good. We're gonna enter into the speed round. So if you could um, turn off the presentation, I am going to ask you a whole bunch of questions, hopefully quickly. Okay. So I'm gonna try to maximize your scores from the beat James. Okay. I'm pretty fast, I mean, I'm ready. I know, I know, okay, ready? Um, so Shu, our beautiful assistant here, is going to be the timer. He's and, Vanna Whiting it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, he's going to be our Vanna White. So, if you're ready... Yes. You okay. Ready? Let me do this. There we go. And go. Monopoly officially added four animal tokens within the last decade. Name anyone. Turtle. No. Uh, two, what is the highest ranked animal related game on Board Game Geek? Wingspan, Great Western Trail, or Caverna? Wingspan. Nope. Uh, name one of the animal factions in Root. Oh, the Irie. Nice. That's the bird. How many unique bird species are there within 20 in the base game of Wingspan? 130. Yes, nice. Uh, totally oh, actually, dead. sorry. Uh, a little off, actually, sorry. Which two-player oh. card game named after a city in Asia involves trading camels for various goods? Japur. Nice. Name one Spiel de Jahr or Kenner Spiel winner that features an animal on its box cover. Llama. Nice. Which game is named after the Japanese word for bamboo shoot? Takenoko? Yes, nice, and time. Okay, so that gives you 
12 total points, and I think James only got 10. So you definitely awesome. beat him there. So nice job. You can lord it over him in board game spotlight will, <laughs> and in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us. And, uh, you know, tell people where we can find you. Well, you can find me at the Board Game Spotlight um, Facebook group. That's where I spend most of my time. Uh, so come join. I'm not doing live streams right now because, like I said, my husband is deployed, but Jimmy Hudson with the Board Game Closet has been taking over and doing a really great job. So you can check out some of the newest Kickstarters and join and just talk about all the things that you love about board gaming. All right. Thanks so much for having fun with us and I hope you enjoyed the quiz. Uh, and now everybody watching can stop watching and go play a game. Bye. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>